Good evening, everybody. Uh, I am part of the member for the board for the unions, fifth tour. Uh, I have the, I spoke the, about the employee for the month in the, in the district. Uh, I got the idea, why you not uh, recognize the other area, employee of the month for all district? You know, because this is uh, usual, only the, when you see the people in the district, recognizing the jobs, or something like that. It's more better uh, looking at another area, because uh, we have the part for the district, employees for the, in the union, it's better to uh, recognize everybody, you know. And I'm sorry, he's the job chief job steward for the uh, classified unit. Thank you very much. Thank you. Exhibit A, it is the, it is the last handout. Mm -hmm. 
and deliver significant, significant progress uh, together. I want to stop. There's so much more to say, but I want to be conscious of the time and also to allow for questions um, should you have them. And um, is this the proper time for, for those to be asked? Okay. Thank you. Yes. I think my question would be like, um, as we talk about the relationship, how we're talking about the specific tasks that we're going to work together, how we're talking about collaboration of the organization with our schools. I mean, I kind of want to, we can briefly talk about a picture, what would it look like? It's a good question. What makes them strong is that it's a collaboration. And many of the organizations that are a part of it are already here. Um, uh, you know, um, St. Margaret's, or your after school program, um, or the gang intervention program, and, and working with students who are, who are not in school, uh, or THE, the health center. Um, there are many more. Mark Rizzi Thomas is on. And getting all these organizations, all their resources and supports, to rally around the same goals. So that not, we're not working in a disconnected area. The district schools are our goals. The district schools are their goals, and we're all working to achieve the same ends. And not only that, we're expanding this. Whereas the district has been focused primarily on getting kids ready for college and competent and core subject matter, now we're saying the district also embraces the need to have children prepared and to have a healthy life, too. Um, and already work is happening. That um, so our role primarily is that of a leader, a facilitator, to ensure that we're all working at our maximum. Uh, that we're all taking accountability for results, all of us, not just the district, but partners and community members too, and that ultimately we're achieving all those milestones for every single child in the community. I hope that answers your question, and I would be happy to spend a, a, a longer time answering it uh, when I get to know. So, so what we're talking about is already working with the institutions that we already have, the partners that we have to complement, to work you know, together to see where there might be a different need. Does LENS come in, let's say there's a particular service that we don't have within our organization. Does LENS come in and they build it, or they come in as a support and do they advise? Um, all, all those things. So a great question because I, I can give you a very specific example. A need service uh, over the course of this last year uh, by some of the counselors uh, in the community, one particular from Jefferson, and it was around trauma, uh, children affected by, uh, by mental trauma. And so it was decided that given some empty space and the district and in certain classrooms that we could use that as a, as a trauma center. And what New Visions did, um, uh, the LENS program New Visions catalyzed that effort, raised the money to support the hiring of some uh, trauma counselors, and partnered with Bridgestone to, to, um, to develop the center and it'll begin serving children, I think, this next, this next uh, two years. That's an example. There are many more that we could show. Um, but yeah, when we realize together as a community that there are needs that we have and we don't have the solution, the primary goal of LENS would be to go find it, build it with you, raise money to support it. Um, one more example, school readiness. You know, you guys have built an incredible school readiness program here. Um, but funding has been challenged. So uh, LENS is taking a primary role working alongside Joanna to ensure that we can get funding for the program, create a clear sustainability plan so it doesn't shift and change as funds are available or not, and you can build consistent enrollment, ever increasing enrollment around, around those are a couple of things. Um, I know you've been with us, um, New Visions, uh, for the couple of years, and done your rounds throughout the community. I know you guys have uh, someone working in the community. Um, and just, you know, doing that community outreach and being involved, which is wonderful. Um, and my question is, what's um, what's the catch? I mean, you guys are a nonprofit at the end of the day, and you guys are supporting um, the Nancy School District community. Um, what's, what do you guys get out of it? Um, satisfaction. That's a, one of those interesting questions, why people do certain things. Um, New Visions has been committed for its entire life as an organization for well their children. Um, and its founder, um, Paul Cummins, um, anyone who knows him knows that. He's written about it in many books. Um, uh, he's launched uh, new schools. He's 
watch programs to take care of the most neglected of children, uh, for example, foster children or kids that are incarcerated. Um, and he developed an affection for the, the, the these of clinics. And I ultimately he was inspired by the idea that that children need a lot of things. They need services to help them improve their educational attainment. They need services to help them improve their health. They need opportunities to explore the world and to develop visions and dreams for themselves. And Linux is unique because it's a smaller community. He's got fierce independence. And I've noticed this, the short one in here is obvious. Mm -hmm. And it's full of hope. I come from LAUSD, like, like you. I worked there for almost 20 years. And it's a very different environment. I came here not knowing what to expect. And I was immediately impressed with the fact that the community and its schools have taken on the boldest vision for its children, uh, for their children. And that's inspiring. And so it catches, I guess, that we want to see this thing succeed. We want to see uh, you get all your schools at PI status. We want to see that middle school triumph. We want to see um, the continued growth. And we want to help accelerate it. Um, that's the satisfaction we'll get. There isn't really a catch. You know, it's not a, the MOU before you isn't about money transaction. Um, we don't expect payment of any kind of district. In fact, we're develop, we're raising and giving money to the district. We just want to see it, this whole effort be uh, incredibly successful. Um, you mentioned opening of new schools. I know you guys have been actively involved with the creation of the arts school yes. at LSTA. I know we're trying to build a new strand. So what's, I haven't really heard an update with that. Um, what, and I know what, we're like about a month and a half or a couple of weeks before, before school starts. So what's, what's the update with that? Well, I can, I can tell you what the role of the divisions are doing with that. And I mean, the details to superintendent. Um, we're excited to build more high school options in Linux, and you all know more than I do. So I just noticed it was a problem that children have to leave Linux to go to to go to high school, except for LMSTA and, and perhaps use the Green Dot Charter schools there. Um, we think there needs to be more high school seats so children can stay in Linux to be educated. And it was increasingly clear there was a need for an art school. Um, arts is celebrated here, and that's a unique skill set that New Visions has. Um, a lot of this work has been in uh, kickstarting. Um, world-class programs in the arts. So given that, we thought we'd like to support the creation of a, of a, of a high school. Um, and the quickest way to, to do it was to add seats um, to, the, to your current high school, which has its very successful history, as you well know. And so that's where it's at right now, is just adding those new seats to that new strand. And maybe the vision is, as we engage community members, that become an actual separate school um, to add to your portfolio of schools. But all those are issues that we have to discuss together, and together. So at this point, it's just beginning. I remember once uh, we met um, to interview me and see what the whole deal was with the leadership. Um, and I asked for a long-term kind of uh, timeline. I haven't been provided that information. And I would like to see that, because I know um, we're, we're committing um, to you guys as you are committing to us. And keep in mind that, that we're in transition mode. Um, the current superintendent is um, transitioning out and doing a new superintendent. So how would that work, given that, that the MOU is, is committed with the superintendent, and yet that uh, new interim superintendent hasn't had the opportunity to look at the MOU, and that person will play a big role in how we implement and carry out the MOU? All I can say to that is that um, I, I have to defer to your judgment on that. Um, I know that this is a very important step for new visions. Um, and it's an important step for us. I just want to make sure that we have everything aligned, all the, all the players in place, and make sure that, that we are successful. And the answer to your, your question about the plan, mm -hmm. um, it's important to know, I think, that Lens is a collaboration. So with all, all the things that we do, all the work that we do, comes from, comes from input from the community. And so although those are those milestones and high achievement and seeing kids triumph is certainly part of the plan, seeing them healthy is certainly part of the plan, exactly what we do must come from our engagement with you and the expanded community of Lennox. Um, so what we have done and what we've done since our meeting with you is begin the formation of an executive committee for Lens that's made up of community leaders, activists, members, uh, school district personnel. Um, it's continuing to grow as a committee. And we're expecting that that committee will be the body that will determine what the major priorities will be, 
uh, what the different programs will be, and where we should all put our collective focus. So that we can say that's successful. Who will be in charge of appointing or selecting or electing these uh, committee members? Well, we're relying on your input. Um, to point out those folks who are who are um, our leaders of the community. Um, the decisions are primarily made by the school district and divisions together um, as the primary facilitators and the primary organizations taking on the accountability for, for the progress through wins. But we welcome your input and we hope to have it so we can make sure that that community is represented as much as active and great. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm thinking because, you see, funny thing about leadership, um, sometimes it's the, leadership that is recognized, and there's leadership that's not recognized, for whatever reason. But at the end of the day, they're leaders. So my concern is, whoever is composed, with that committee, whoever composes it, I want to be assured they they are actually representing my community, not because they are known and, and, and recognized, no, because they are leaders, they are residents of this community. You know, that's just a concern because it's out there, and I just want to make sure that we are truly representing the community. And regardless, if, if I'm a leader and I don't recognize a certain person as a leader, that's not for me to say. It's for the pueblo, the barrio, the people to say. And that's and that's done through through actions, not just by words. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's it's um it's, it's a funny situation, but it's real and it's out there. We rely on you to point those folks out. Because there are unsung heroes, okay, leaders who aren't formally recognized as leaders, but critical in the most of success. Yes. Point them out, please, and let us know who they are. We can begin that relationship with them, and we hope that they'll want to serve on them. We're honored to have them. And ultimately, the success of, of lands um, depends on all of us working well together, right? The right people working well together. So we need them. Like I said, I'm, I'm new to the community. I'm watching and observing. And the skill set that I bring is not a, 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 it's not a deep understanding of lands. I, I expect that from you. We need that from you as community members and leaders. Um, and uh, I'll say one last time, just so, so you know that it's uh, true for us, but the success of this effort, it, it, it relies on, on the success, uh, on the commitment of the members of the community. Who are One of the things I want to add about this is, is it school to help both teams? Uh, one of the things that funders will look for is how serious are you working to get One of the reasons we expanded the ninth grade so quickly was to enable new vision to be able to say, look, we've already started something. We've got something going. I know that <laughs> funding experts are in our audience, and it's much, you have a much better chance of getting commitment from people who want to fund art schools if you have something germinating, something starting. And so that was the push uh, with the high school to move that to do what we could. And this is kind of the same idea. You're making a commitment to each other. So when the funders are, when the people are out there looking for funds, they say, look, we have a commitment to each other. We're really serious about helping each other out. I think that's, the, that's one key point. The other key point is it's a very open-ended agreement. And it really puts you in the driver's seat uh, as far as who you're thinking to represent. What they're saying is we believe in the same vision. And we think they have something in common with you. And we want to move forward with that. I don't think you can say that you know exactly how this is going to work. It's in two or three years, it's going to look very different. Even our teachers who have been working with us on the, the, the very beginning of the art program have very have changed already how you look at the art program. They don't they really wanted to see started not, not just the high school program, but we go to the elementary schools so that you are training musicians and artists and birds. So that's already kind of shifted the way that you put it. It's going to grow. It's going to grow. You're going to be a horrible part of it. You're, there'll be some formal organizations coming to this, take root in this. But really, this is to seize your plan for a partnership. And if you, you know, I know this all comes as a lot of work in evaluating the success of the Harlem Zone, where they been successful in this country. But if you want to look at, if you want to look at a model, that's what. 
they're trying to bring. Yeah, yeah, she needs to see it to make sure that we're all on board. Okay, sorry. 